Welcome, Mike Martinez, and uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna have a great conversation with you because here's the bottom line: I got my grandkids. You know, I think I told you in the last live that I I have my grandkids over my house on a daily basis, and uh, my biggest thing is is being able to teach them something, being able to pass a lesson on, right? Um, I, I, I've spoken about this before, you know, one of the, one of my grandkids, uh, uh, her name is Aaliyah and I do this with all of them, but, uh, she's caught on to it very quickly. Um, and that is the lesson that I teach my grandkids about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and the difference of what they do and, and, and how you build habits with the subconscious mind and things like that, how you facilitate things. But, uh, here's what I want to tell you, um. In in uh, a, a, a conversation I was having with them just a few minutes ago, I, I went to the post office and I took two of them with me, my grandson Julian and my granddaughter Aaliyah. And, you know, we're having, I, I, I try to drop information in their mind all the time. And I don't know if you've ever said this to a kid, right, or, or to a family member, but have you ever said, if you put your mind into it, you can do anything, Right? Is that statement correct? Is that something that you actually believe? Is it something that you actually believe that if you put your mind into it, you could do anything? Because if that is something that you believe, here's the thing. Uh, What does that exactly mean? If I put my mind into it, I could do anything. What does it mean to put your mind into it? Right? Um, Because if you can answer that question... I mean, think about how powerful that is. If you honestly believe that if you could put your mind into it, you can do anything, and you're telling this to a kid, or or hopefully you're living this yourself, right? What does that mean? What does that mean to put my mind into it, right? And again, you know, it it, kind of circles around because... Uh, like I said, I, 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 I teach my kids, my grandkids and my kids a lot about, you know, what uh, the conscious and the subconscious mind, how they work together and, and how important they are in the achievement of goals and advancing and learning and, and, and doing things automatically, right? Because what you're going to find is that um, if your conscious mind uh, or, or, or better said, if your subconscious mind is not uh, uh, fully engaged or not believing what it is that you want to do is possible, then you're going to have this internal struggle. You're going to have a hard time uh, just getting to do what you want to do because your conscious mind is the first the first part of the mind that gets the information that, that helps you react to things, right? Is it, the the subconscious mind is infinitely more stronger and more powerful, but but the conscious mind is something that a lot of times directs our our uh, actions, right? And if the conscious mind is fighting you, you're gonna have a hard time, and that's one of the clear indications that your subconscious mind, the mind that's all the way in the back there, right? If the subconscious mind is not part of that idea is if it doesn't have that belief right then you're not going to uh you're going to have a hard time struggling with that and chances are you know uh some people say you know what i'm going to break through no matter what but it's a difficult task right you have to find a way to kind of influence the subconscious mind to get the subconscious mind to believe you and now things start flowing your way right and that's the key conversation that we're having today and i'm going to give you three three quick tips right um again uh number one is that you have to control what's going into your mind right uh because here's the bottom line right now you're listening to me and that's an influence from the outside coming in right you're getting that through your ears you're processing that information but it's going first through your conscious mind and your conscious mind is making some decisions is that true is mike lyon is that right and uh based on that that gatekeeper your conscious mind you're going to either start a belief or not start a belief or strengthen a belief that you already have if i'm telling you something that you don't believe right now or that it's hard for you to believe, but you, you know, let's say I say, uh, you know, a certain group of people are bad people, right? 
uh, and now you're going out there and you are, um, you know, just starting to believe that. And if I tell you something and and you're doubting it and you're saying, no, I believe this stuff here, uh, those particular people are bad, then you're going to just strengthen that, right? But if I say something that maybe twitches, maybe maybe turns a switch in your mind, right? Then you may start kind of breaking that, right? It's like you just created a crack in the dam and there's a little leak that's coming out and now it's not as secure as it was before. It's not as as, as tight as it was before and that's important. Because a lot of the beliefs that we have, and here's the bottom line, a lot of the beliefs that we have are not actual truths. They're not beliefs that that we could say um, they're 100% true, right? They're beliefs that we got from our parents, from our teachers, from... And you know what? The science that you learn, I'm, you know, I won't tell you my age. Just had my birthday in December 7th, and, um, you know, you could probably check that out on Facebook and find out. But... I know that the things that I was taught as a, as a young man, as a kid in elementary school in science class, a lot of those things are no longer uh, an established belief. They've changed a lot of those things because science is constantly moving forward, and what they believed back then they don't necessarily believe now. A lot of it has changed, right? So, and it just doesn't. It doesn't just happen with science. It happens with everything, right? So you gotta really watch your beliefs because what if you're you're, you're working with some beliefs that, in reality, were old beliefs, false beliefs, beliefs that don't have any ground in reality, but you believe is true. And what you believe, that's how you're going to perform. And the way that you perform, those are the actions that you're going to produce, right? So you want to take a good look at your beliefs, right? And what I'm telling you is, why not design your belief, right? Why just stick with the beliefs that the old school teacher gave you that maybe are not right, right? Sometimes your parents put beliefs in you that... Uh, they didn't know any better. Not that they were trying to mess you up or, or, or give you bad beliefs, but they didn't know any better, so their beliefs were wrong, and now you've been carrying those wrong beliefs all these years. So very important that you control those beliefs. And how do you do that? You, you do that by internal thinking, right? Again, you're hearing me right now, and those words are going inside your ears and into your head, and you're, and you're deciphering whether that's true or not. That's outside thinking you're getting thinking from the outside going into you what i'm telling you is the most powerful way of thinking is thinking internally thinking about the ideas that you want to create and that's how you get to that point where uh you know you can if you can put your mind into it right that's where the mind into it comes in when you start creating these things not because of outside forces but because of internal forces that little voice that's going in in your mind if you're controlling that now you have access to moving this your life in a certain direction now you have access to getting the results that you want to get because you're taking specific actions right that's the key the other thing that's important as far as this this whole idea of of uh you know uh, putting your mind into it is finding the right mentors because the right mentors will give you massive massive shortcuts to get to where you want to go right important because you need to have somebody that's going to hold you accountable a lot of times you know we're we're, we're rounding off this year right now right um uh, we're two days from christmas and and merry christmas to everybody that that's watching this but we're rounding this year off right now and guess what we all come up with with resolutions you've probably done this before and then you know what happens if you don't have somebody accountable if you don't have somebody that that's gonna make you stick to what you said you were going to do come january 15 you don't even remember because you know what you missed day number one you miss day number two. You miss day number three. A lot of times we wake up January 1st with a hangover. Oh, boy, man, I drank a little too much last night, right? A little too much partying last night. And so you miss that day. And it comes January 2nd. You miss that. You're going back into your routine, whatever it is. You go back to work. Go back to do this or the other, right? And, and you lose out 
in that consistency all right i need to do it today i need to do it tomorrow even if it's a little bit i need to do a little bit today a little bit tomorrow a little bit tomorrow and that's how you build a habit right and that's how you create a belief would you start taking what your subconscious mind is saying you can't do right you say hey i'm, a, I'm not a good dancer but then you go to a, a, a party and you get a few drinks inside you and you just go on the dance floor and you, you break it off, right? You, you People start circling around you and you're thinking, wow, maybe I am a good dancer. And you do that a couple of times and people are patting you in the back saying, hey, those moves are good, right? That's how you start changing a belief, right? You have to start changing the belief little by little, little by little. It's the little the little turn of the knob, right, of the combination that will help you open up that gate, open up that, that safe. So where that's where the riches are, when you can control that, right? So, again, having a mentor is, is critically important because he's going to hold you accountable. You need to have somebody to hold you accountable. You need to have somebody that has walked the steps that you want to walk and can guide you and can say, hey, that's a pitfall over there. Hey, you want to do it this way. Hey, did you do what you said you were going to do, right? You want that that stuff so finding a mentor is very very important aside from the fact that you are what we said for number one was that you're going to control what's going on in your mind right <clears throat> and 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 then you, number two is that you're going to find yourself a a a good mentor here's number three number three is that you are going to become fully engaged right very very important if you wanted to learn uh let's say but you wanted to learn the language right you got to get fully engaged with that you have to try to speak that as much as you can you have to put on the tv to that particular channel where they're speaking that language so you could get <clears throat> so you could get the little differences right uh <clears throat> got a little itch in my throat all of a sudden but <clears throat> You go out and uh, let's say you want to study martial arts, right? You can't just do it, do it by reading a book or watching movies and thinking that <clears throat> that's how you're going to do it. you got to be fully engaged. you got to go out there and practice the punches, practice the kicks, practice the sparring, practice the throwing, practice whatever it is, but you got to get fully engaged. And that, I'll tell you, is one of the biggest things to this idea of how do I put my mind into it? You know how you put your mind into it? By doing these little things every day on a daily basis to where it becomes an obsession for you, right? A magnificent obsession. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to I'm going to find the right mentors. I'm going to pick up the skills. I'm going to master this technique. I'm going to do whatever, right? Um <clears throat> reading a great book. Hey, if you haven't read this book, I'm telling you, this is the book, right? Uh, be Obsessed or Be Average, Mr. Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone is a fantastic uh, sales trainer, master sales trainer. <clears throat> and I would I would uh, encourage you to find his stuff on, on YouTube. He's got a great channel. He does a lot of uh, YouTube lives. And <clears throat> he's one of these guys that that'll say it you know everybody that's that's operating at a high level everybody that has accomplished things at a very high level has been obsessed with that idea all right you get a guy like Arnold Schwarzenegger that that I mean think about it he's a, he's a he's a guy from you know uh, that came into this country with, with a German accent and and you know and just became this this monster character right uh, just just knowing that name Schwarzenegger is 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 a, is a credit to him right because you know how many people would would uh focus on that right the fact that he's got his name out there and in a worldwide you know screen where people look at him and and he could go into any country and people would know him right and he did that because he was obsessed with, number one, lifting weights and building an incredible body and then becoming a great actor and then becoming a politician and becoming this and becoming that. <clears throat> but he has, he has conditioned his mind 
to follow these certain steps, right? To become obsessed with simple things. And when you do that, I'll tell you, you know, a lot of people tell me, <clears throat> Mike, I, I, I just don't know. I mean, I got this goal. I want to do it, but I just don't know how to do it. And I'm telling you, when you become obsessed with something, you're going to be moving forward. And that's the key. The key is to move forward. Even if you don't know, I'm telling you, that sounds kind of weird. How do I move forward if I don't know? Just move forward. Just take one little step. Just take one little motion. Just create that momentum. And you know what happened? Things open up for you. Things start to be attracted to you, right? And that's how this happens, guys. If you stay still, nothing happens. You're just dreaming, right? But if you every day controlling your mind, every day speaking with a mentor, every day getting yourself engaged, every day moving forward, whether you know what you're doing or not, but taking one little step forward and becoming obsessed with that. You get up in the morning and the very first thing when you open your eyes, you're thinking about what it is that you want to accomplish. You go to sleep at night and and for the last 10 minutes before you doze off, you're thinking about what you want and what you accomplished today and the little steps that you took forward. I'm telling you that's what makes the difference. That's what gets people to create and to and to live and to, uh, you know, manifest things and to just live the life that they want. Isn't that what you want, right? I'm telling you. So here's the bottom line. You need to go out there and you need to do it. You need to go out there and you need to, uh, you know, number one, control what's going through your mind. Shut off some of the outside distractions right shut off the facebook the internet the tv the radio shut off that stuff and get into your mind and control that little conversation that you're having that's number one number two go out there and find those mentors that are going to help you because i'm telling you that is where the key is you need to find the mentors you need to find the people that are going to go out there and 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 build your your help you build your dreams and help you stay accountable to what you're doing right you need that and number three get engaged get into it get your hands dirty get your feet wet jump jump right into the pool and start swimming right and you say hey i don't know what to do do it anyway take one little step one little step forward the door is going to open and maybe that door that opened wasn't the door that you needed open but you took a step and you're moving in a certain direction now and things i'm telling you things will start working out things will start being attracted to you the, the right people the right circumstances the right situations will start coming to you and you'll see how how cool that is so that's the message guys go out there Find what it is that you want. Don't waste 2018. I'm telling you, start from now. Start from now getting a clear picture in your mind what it is that you want to do. Start controlling your mind on a daily basis. Now, starting today, right? Start finding the mentors that you need to find in order to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. And get fully engaged. Get obsessed with it, right? You don't read my man's book. Uh, pick it up. Pick up my man's book. Be obsessed or be average. It's, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks in, in Amazon.com. It's worth it. Guaranteed it's worth it. So that's the message for today. Do it. Just go out there and do it.